Hello, my friends, and welcome. Um, today I would like to talk about gauge and swatches. Swatch is really a little sample unit, and gauge is the number of stitches and rows it takes to make one square centimeter of knitted fabric or square inch. Uh, without knowing uh, your gauge, uh, you wouldn't really know if your finished project, let's say jumper, would fit you. I know many knitters don't like the idea of knitting the swatch or sample, and neither do I. It seems quite tedious work. Um, you could think it's a waste of time and yarn too, especially if it's expensive yarn. Well, I can tell you one thing. There's nothing you must do, really. If you don't want to do it, then don't. I have knitted before without um, doing swatches first, and the end result is a surprise. And I had a few pleasant ones and quite a few not so much. There are some socks which um, could really almost go twice around my feet, and Sometimes halfway through knitting a jumper, I realized that it's not going to fit me. Yeah, it's going to be too small. And um, also, if you need a big big project, um, like a jumper or cardigan, um, sometimes you need to cast even two hundred stitches on, and it could take thousand stitches to knit just to get uh, two centimeters of material done so you see where i'm going so i learned my lesson hard way and i do knit my swatches now so what do you get <clears throat> um if you know the gauge you have a knowledge that your um, item actually will fit you you can choose any yarn any type of yarn you actually like. You don't have to go the one with the one that they um, suggest you. You can use needles that makes the best fabric for your chosen yarn, even if you don't match the given gauge. And you can design your own stuff. Most importantly <clears throat> to me also is that if you need a swatch, you can um, have a look at it and see if you like how it looks like. Let's say, for example, every yarn you buy, they will have a label on it, uh, which will tell you what material is it, and suggested needles to knit with, and also they will give you gauge. So for this particular yarn, uh, the recommended needle size is four to four and a half millimeters, and it says that in ten square centimeters you get twenty two stitches and thirty rows. With my knitting, I don't like how material looks like. I think it's too loose and it's just it doesn't look pretty. Size 2 mil is too dense to my liking and size 6 millimeters it's not pretty at all. So the one I like the most is 3.5 mil and if I would need something out of this yarn I would choose 3.5 millimeters. Also remember that um, your knitting is unique you know, the way you hold your needles, um, the way you let yarn slip through your fingers, even like timing um, when you start to knit and after two hours of knitting, yeah, tiredness counts and I believe even your mood. Also, the type of yarn and material of the needles. Once I knitted jumper with um, big plastic 10mm 
circular needles. It was hard knitting. The yarn wouldn't come off the needles. So after an hour of knitting, I was tired. So in the middle of um, in the middle of um, work, I went and got myself aluminium needles, and it was like night and day. And what happened? Because I needed one sleeve with plastic needles and one sleeve with aluminium needles, and they ended up in um, they they just ended up different size. One was longer and one was shorter. So that's that's another thing. Um, guess what? I didn't um, I didn't do the swatch um, at the start of the knitting, and that was one of my unpleasant surprises. There, this is same yarn, and also needles number six. But in this in this sample, instead of single single yarn I used double yeah I needed two strings and as you hear here it's loose and, and um, well quite ugly and this one is actually really pretty I do like this one but you can work around these things you know it's it's um it's your project your work you decide what you like the best and go from there now, how do you measure the gauge? Gauge is number of stitches and rows it takes to make this tiny one square centimeter of material. So usually um, they recommend you do 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter swatch. I just wanted to um, point out one thing uh, when, you, um, when you do your measurements on your samples. Uh, this is stuck in its stitch. If you um, have a closer look, you'll see little V's there, and they sort of like go upward, upwards, yeah. And then right next to it, there are little V's which go downwards. So when you do count the stitches, you pick either one or another, yeah. Either you're gonna count this row here, which is upside down V's, or either you're gonna count these rows which are upside you know upside v's so pick one and then do the counting my eyes sometimes they just um they mix them all together all the time so be careful when you do that you you pick up v's which are upside yeah like v and then you go one and then again v's two Another V three, four, five, six, and so on. If you choose um, to count the V's which are upside down, then you count those um, stitches there, yeah, which would be one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And with the rows as well, uh, I'll, I'll put the closer look there. So one row is this one little side of the V. So we take one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Yeah. Or if you count from another side, then as well, you see these little kind of like bumps there, then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. Now I picked the sample I like the best, and um, let's count the, row, uh, the stitches there. So we put our measuring tape down, and I'm going to go with these, which are looking up. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and three quarters. We write that down nine point seventy five in seven centimeters. And let's do the rows.
I count one, two, three, four, five, six, and six rows in three centimeters. So to get the number to one square centimeter, we need to divide 9.75 by 7. That gives us 1.39 stitches in 1 square centimeters. And then divide 6 by 3. That gives us 2 rows in 1 square centimeter. Now you, you can see the difference. I've already done 2 mil. That was 2.7 stitches. Um, three and a half, two stitches, 1.8, 1.6. So that's the double yarn, that's the big, big stitches there, yeah? And the same with the rows. The, the bigger, the bigger the needles, the less stitches and the less rows. Right, let's say <clears throat> we would like to knit the scarf, which is 40 centimeters wide, wide. So we take um, 1.39 and we multiply by 40 55.6 stitches I'm just going to go for a whole number there and just put 56 stitches and the same goes for rows so if I want 120 centimeters long scarf I take two rows in one square centimeter multiplied by 120 centimeters and that just gives us 240 rows. So we can write down stitches to cast on 56 and rows to knit 240.